All right. So if you were tuned in to the last broadcast, you know what happened. So we finally got the gameplay to where I think it's fun and interesting and not impossible and not too easy. So what I've decided to do... Oh, there's a... <laughs> it is the wrong way. <laughs> what I've decided to do is start a new season because we finally got gameplay to where we want it. Silent Alan Frost is in the chat. Oh, fuck. This, I know this is not an ideal streaming setup, but... Um, you try streaming from a PlayStation 2. I don't know why the music left. Let's get the music back. Uh, not extras. What the heck? Oh, that's just how you do it. Okay, I see. I see. So... I don't know how the music comes back on. I thought you could do it, just fucking play with some stuff. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we're going into season mode. We're doing a new season. We are doing a fantasy draft. And uh, we finally got the game settings to where I think they're fun for people to watch, fun for me to play. So uh, I, sh I know that I should have figured that out beforehand. We are going to be the Edmonton Oilers. And... Um, That's just the way it's going to be, because uh, this is my stream, and I should get at least one thing that I want. So, Fantasy Draft, it is. If you're tuned in, you come for a fun time. So, what we're going to do, it's giving us the eighth overall pick. We're going to do three randoms, and that's it. And we're going to pick where it tells us to pick. One random, that looks good, but it's only one random. Two randoms, honestly, the middle of the draft is probably the worst place you can be. Because, you know, you never get back-to-back -back picks. So you're never like, oh, like I could really use two defensemen and then stack up on defensemen. Uh, all right, third random. And this is where we're going to pick. Fucking back to third overall. All right, let's go. See who we get. Start the draft. We are starting the draft. And somehow uh, we've gotten some pretty good players to fall to us. Uh, Mario Lemieux didn't work out for us last time, so we're going to go with Peter Forsberg with the first overall, with the third overall pick, the first round pick in the fantasy draft. Um, the, any comments? I'll wait for the stream to catch up. I think we got to go with Foppa. I think we got to go with Foppa Forsberg. I, this game is from 2003-04, so this is like, like pretty much near peak Foppa. And I think that's that's just the that's the play. It's what you have to do is uh, Foppa Forsberg, and I don't think anyone's even gonna really debate that. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Peter Forsberg is the first round selection of our new fantasy draft series with advanced with uh, actual fun gameplay. Uh, no objections in the chat. So Nick Lindstrom went number one to the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Boston Bruins took Martin Broder, took the best goalie off the board. Then it went Forsberg, Jean-Sebastian Jaguar, Joe Thornton, Jeremy Roenick, Mario Lemieux fell to seven. Chris Pronger, Marion Hossa, Pavel Bure, Ed Jovanovsky, Jovo Kopp, Jerome, Yaramir, Todd Bertuzzi. Who did the Flames get? Flames must have a deep pick. Dominic Hasek went to the Sharks. He's like, a did, he did in the last one. Fuck. <laughs> Doug Wade's a fucking mutant in this game, so I don't like that Calgary got him. All right. Mike Pekka goes 24th. Darian Hatcher, Matt Sandin, Marcus Naslin, Olaf Kolzig, Joe Sackick, Eric Lindros, 30th overall pick again. All right. On to round two. Now we will, we'll pick uh, 28th in round two. It snakes. Okay, so... Uh, we're not going to get a very good goalie again. I'm 
So the best goalie available is Jocelyn Tebow, but I feel like we'll be able to get him in the next round because we're, we're going to pick pretty much, you know, like five or six picks apart here. Shit. So we got Peter Forsberg. Should we go a defenseman here? Brewer is the best remaining defenseman. Let's see. Uh, I like uh, I like to shoot, use my, utilize my D from the point. Ooh, Santa's Ogil, which is actually the best. Oh no, Robbie Blake. Maybe we do go Rob Blake. Oh, what do we got for forwards? Joey Newendike. I love Owen Nolan. But I think we're gonna go with Rob Blake. I think that's the chip. That's the pick. I don't know where the music is. Let's uh, let's actually see if we can. Uh... YouTube it to make it give us a little bit of ambiance. Hits pro menu music. There we go. There we go. That works. Okay. I think we got to go Rob Blake here. Okay, let's see. Nikolai Habibulin went off the board early in round two. Uh, Flames went with Marty Turco. So they got uh, scoring and goaltending, which is going to be a challenge. I'll turn that music down a bit. Uh, Pete Bondra, Al McInnes. Shit. Cujo. Went off the board there. Alexi Yashin. Stoddy Niedermeyer goes to San Jose. Bobby Lou ends up in uh, in Vancouver, just like he ends up in real life. Uh, Nabokov, Sean Burke goes to Philly. Billy Guerin. Ole Jokin. And Danny Heatley ends up in Ottawa. Fuck, we were a pick away from 1507. But we end up with Rob Blake. I'm happy with that. And Eric Brewer stays on the board. So here's my conundrum now. So our first two picks... I shouldn't have said Brewer stays on the board. There's two picks to go. So our first two picks, we went Forsberg and Rob Blake. You can see over here. So here's my question for you. Are we obligated to go with a goaltender here? Jocelyn Tebow. The next best goaltender is not until Mike Dunham. Manny Legacy. Dwayne Rollison. Dwayne Rollison. You know what? Dwayne Rollison works out in real life, so maybe we wait and get him. So, in my question, anyhow, is do we go with uh, Jocelyn Tebow in that? Take a goalie? Shore up our goaltending? Or do we take a powerhouse defense pair back there and go with Eric Brewer and Rob Blake on the back end? No. I haven't even thought of this. Brett Hall, Owen Nolan, fuck. Oh, Alexi Kovalev. I love the prospect of Brett Hall being on the wing for Papa Forsberg. That might be too good to pass up. Or do we go with the Twin Towers, Rob Blake and Eric Brewer on the back end? You know what? Last time, we did Mario Lemieux and Timu Solani and later Yarmir Yager. Ah, I don't care. I think it's too good to pass up. Speed 84, passing, shooting 97. We're going with Brett Hull. We had to do it. We had to take Brett Hull. And I think Jocelyn Tebow, yeah, he goes in that round. Eric Brewer, he slipped pretty far, actually, to number 12. Pavel Dimitra, Joe Newendijk, uh, who else goes off the board? I was wondering if anyone's... Scotty Stevens slips pretty far to the 19th pick of round three. Ronnie Francis, Vincent Dafrus goes to Calgary. Tom Pody. Ross Smitty sneaks into the third round of Minnesota. Fuck. All right. Late 
fourth round selection. And I think <laughs> we have no goalies, but they just keep tempting me here because you could go with Simone Gagne or Mark Messier, bring him back to Edmonton. Matt Safinagana, Mark, uh, Mike Dunham. Oh, Dwayne Rollison went off the board. So we can't even get Rolly. Uh, we might have to get Thomas Falcoon. Oh, what the fuck is that? That's not what I wanted. At all. We want to stick with NHL Hits Pro menu music. Because for some reason, this is not playing menu music. There you go. That's a playlist. Such a day. The best day of my life. NHL Hits Pro soundtrack. This is a playlist. This will be good. This is not part of it. This is an ad for Heineken. Heineken, you want to get in on my videos, pal? I just... There we go. Um, you would have got an ad read right there. Do we got to go with a goalie here? It's a question. Or do we go Adam Oates? Mark Messier. Fuck me. Anyone want to chime in in the comments what we what we what they think we should do here? Fuck. Well, you know what? We are gonna get picks pretty close. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. I think we're gonna get picks pretty close to each other. So I'm gonna go with my goalie right now. I'm gonna take Manny Legacy. So, let's see. Dwayne Rollison with six pick of that round to Atlanta. Jeff Audrey goes to Calgary. George LaRocca was off the board. Son of a bitch. Ian LaPerriere. Uh, who else went? Donald Brashear went to pick before us. So, we're going to go... Uh, let's see what we end up with here. We're going to get back-to-back -back picks. Yeah, we're going to go Mark Messier. Hard to pass him up, isn't it? Hemsky. I don't... Hemsky, is he in this fucking game? He is in this game. What's up, Brylin? How are you enjoying COVID jail, pal? I hate it. Uh, Hemsky is like a 6 to 70 overall, though. So we'll, we'll snag him if we can. Let's uh, let's go with Mark Messier though. I think that's the pick. All right. Let's see if we missed out on anybody. Martin Berron, Kevin Weeks, Eric Daze was a Calgary. All right. We do need Hemsky. There he is, boys. You know what? Ask and you shall receive. Alex Hemsky is an Edmonton Oiler once again. So, that round goes Steve Rooch and see if anybody uh, slipped. Mike Comrie goes to fucking Calgary. Uh, Jay Bowmeister, Mark Denis, anyone of any... Uh, Wade Redden, Tommy Sallow. Love that guy. Byron Defoe, one time, uh, I told this story on a stream a couple days ago, when Byron Defoe was a starting goalie for the Atlanta Thrashers, and then um, <laughs> he got hurt in a game in Edmonton, and the backup goalie was Pazzy Nermanen, and then there was a line brawl, Pazzy Nermanen got, got in a fight, fought Ty Conklin, and got thrown out, so uh, <laughs> Atlanta had to play the rest of the game with an empty net, so... At Byron Defoe always reminds me of that story. So there we go. The Oilers get Alex Hemsky, pick 28 in the sixth round. I don't think that's a reach at all. I think that's a great pick. 80 overall at 28 in the sixth round is, is a good pick. Let's see what we got left on the board here. All right. Oof. Only one defense, but I think we got to go with a defenseman here. Dick Tarnquist was a real life Edmonton Oiler. And no one is ooh, no one is like jumping off the board at me for like, hey, you gotta take Thomas Holmstrom, Brian Marchment, fucking knee seeking missile, Brian Marchment. 
Rick Nasty? Boys. Do we gotta go with Rick Nasty? It's a question that's worth asking. And I think we might have to go with Rick Nasty. Jeff Friesen, Oleg Teberdoski. Well, wait, hold on. This is our, these are our picks that I think are in quick succession. So Rick Nasty's probably going to go off the board in the next round, in this round or the next before we pick. Let's see what his stats are like in this game. He's not tough. Pretty quick. Passing's decent. Shoots. Checking's not the best. Uh... You know what? We're gonna take him just because we. Well, Franz Logie Logie Bear wants Franz. Where do you see Franz Franz in that? Who's Franz? What are you talking about? I don't know who Franz is. So, I don't think that's a real thing. I think you're on drugs, Log. I think we have to go with Rick Nasty. It's a bit before his time, but we're going with Nasty. All right. So, Martin LaPointe goes after him. I'm not really seeing anybody that I missed out on. Fuck, we need defensemen, though. Mike York... All right. Oh, we need defensemen and no one is there. We got one D-man so far, but I think... Young Hank Zetterberg or Daniel Briere? I think that's who it's between. Because at this point, we're getting the shit back up anyway. Mike Greer. Woo! Valerie Bure. Bure? Oh, Bure. Idiot. Like the best defenseman available here would be Igor Ulanov. He was once a, a real life Edmonton Oilers. You know what? We got back. We got print backs. Uh, picks pretty pretty close. Close to session here. So we are gonna go. Let's see here. Speed. Danny Briere's got the edge. Passing. Zetterberg. Shooting. Briere. Oh, it gets tough. We got a passer in Forsberg. We got a shooter in Hall. Messier, more of a finisher, so I think maybe we should pick the passer and go with Zetterberg. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Pick Henrik Zetterberg in the eighth round. So, uh, John McClare, we ended up with him in the last draft. That actually ended up being Pazzy Nerman. This guy was a joke. Um... In the last uh, series... All right, Henrik Zetterberg. I think that's going to end up being a great, great pick in the eighth round. You know what? As much as I want to pick Danny Briere here, no matter what, we're getting the shit back at goalie, but we need defensemen. So we're going to go with uh, Igor Ulanov with this pick. So, oh, fuck, maybe? Uh, no, we had to go with a defenseman. We only have one defenseman, and it's Rob fucking Blake. Okay, so let's see who ended up. Who, is there anyone who really slipped? Briere fell to the third, uh, 13th pick of that round. Um, Shane Doan. Young Shane Doan. Paul Mara. All right. Fucking Greer. Uh, I think maybe Ray Whitney, local kid. Looking like a lit squad. I gotta say it is, Sparky. I gotta say it kind of does. We're gonna have a shit back at goalie, but we can always try to trade for one. I think Sammy Sal... Oh, fuck. No, he's not. It's Martin Havlat, isn't it? You gotta go with Havlat. Fuck. I keep wanting to take defenseman, but I can't. Justin Williams goes to the Calgary Flames. 
Stu and Jay Williams almost went back to back, but Jochen Hesht, the former greatest uh, German hockey player of all time. Sorry, I was just reading a comment there. Uh, Def need a new backup tendy. We do need a backup tendy for sure. Because as you can see, the last goalie to go off the board was Steve Patsmore, a 76 overall. Who is our? Who do we get as our starter? I forget. Manny Legacy. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll take your pick of goalies here. We have fucking Herme, Flaherty, and this guy is. Just, oh, I'm, I'm looking at toughness. Fucker. It's like, why is this 68 overall? Agility. Looks like maybe Herme is the pick. 78 recovering. Handling, though, I feel is the big one. Well, sorry, rebounds. Yeah, uh, the rebounds in this game are a bit egregious. So I think even though I really want to go with Ray Whitney, Corey Stillman, ooh, I think we got to get a backup goalie here, and we're going to go with Herme. See how that works for us. Ray Whitney may still end up on the board, although I doubt he will, because we're, uh, we're not going to pick till like, 27th here. So, let's see, uh, anyone, uh, Jamie McLennan, like, yeah, I mean, the goalies are few and far between at this point. In round 11, fuck. Wade Flaherty. All right, so we have, let's see what we got. We got one center, two centers, uh, one, two, three, four wingers, uh, and two defensemen. I think we got to pick a defenseman here. I'm fucking why do they always tap? We got you can't. I would love to pick a defenseman here, but you got at this. You have to take Luke Robitaille. So I will take Luke Robitaille. <laughs> Martin Prusak. Any guys on the board that, like, surprised me? Not really. Garth fucking Snow. Holy shit. Good goalie. Horrible GM. Uh, all right. We get close to back-to-back -back picks here. We don't need any more goalies. we got to go with a defenseman. So, a bit quicker is Zuzan. But uh, Sweeney is definitely uh, more of a puck mover. Shooting's the same. Checking's the same. I think we want that puck-moving defenseman. So I think we're going to go with... I think his name's Don Sweeney. Uh, yeah, he is. Don Sweeney. I think he's the GM of the Bruins now. So we're going to go with Sweeney. Don Sweeney, indeed. Make that pick. Hank Sedin fell a long way. I wonder if Daniel Sedin's gone off the board yet. See if Anaheim gets him. All right. So we don't need any more goalies. We have three defensemen. Uh, we only got two centers, so I think maybe Alexei Jamnov. That's the pick. And that's what we just did. See if uh, Daniel Sedin went in this round. No, Docs never took him. All right. Another pick here. What do we got? We got uh, one, two centers, three centers. I think we got enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, six wingers, and three defensemen. This is where the, the uh, draft becomes kind of a chore because we're deep into it. Um, UC Marketing. No one I really know. So let's go with uh, Craig Adams. Um, no. Dempsey. Defense money. Did anyone see Daniel? Did Daniel Sedin go before Henrik? Was this the round Henrik Sedin went in? No, I don't 
don't see him. I don't think he's gone yet. Carlo Koliakovo. I have not seen Daniel Sedin. Again, the Ducks don't get him. So far, it looks like they might be split up. Matt Stajan goes to Calgary like he ended up in real life in Calgary at one point. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's uh, keep this out. Let's keep this going. So, games are only like six minutes long, by the way. So, your, your bottom six slash bottom pair don't even play that much. So, it doesn't really matter. So, let's go with the uh, uh, winger here because we're going to need to fill that out. Jonathan Chichu. This guy ended up being a 50 goal scorer at one point. Daniel McGillis. Any Sedin. Did uh, Henry Sedin's unbrought? Fuck, Jason Smith went. Son of a bitch. Right before I took Scott Young. All right. No Sedin. He must have went in the earlier round. He must have. That's the only explanation. All right. Of the remaining players, the best remaining is a goalie. Let's go with uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, the best in there. Rory Fitzpatrick. Mm -hmm. Stefan Quintel, and now we're in uh, Chris Phillips. That's that's a pretty big slip. Aaron Hatch in the county. Oh no. All right. Adam Graves. Sean Horkoff to Dallas. Any guys that. Uh Kind of jump. Ethan Morrow, former Edmonton Oiler, okay. Reb Murray, former Edmonton Oiler. Maybe this is why they were so shitty back in the day. All their players are getting picked at round fucking 18. Still no Sedin that I've seen. He must have gone in an earlier round. Uh. Fucking, I don't know. <laughs> one, two, three. Hold on, how many defensemen do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So we need at least one more. Preferably, now there's no injuries, so one more would be fine. But I kind of remember who Armstrong was, so let's go with him. Chris Armstrong, there we go. Sean Pronger. Guy did not get the jeans that his brother got. Obviously, he's going to round fucking 19. Martin Jelena. Steve Steos? Fuck. <laughs> Merrick Malik goes to the Calgary Flames. Too bad there's no shootouts in this game. Corey Cross. Brennan Witt. All right. I wonder if UC Marketing will ever get off the board here. Uh, Martin Erat. Any Daniel Sedin yet? No, man. This guy might go unfucking drafted. Okay. Yanni DePita, 69 overall. Nice. Dan I know, sure. Jason Doig. No Sedin, man. Yuri Depita, not Yanni. Yanni Rita, that's what I was thinking of. UC Markkinen's going to stay on the board. All these goalies are. I guess Steve Ott. All right. Still no 
fucking dank scene. He might, he had to have gone, gone before Henrik. It's the only thing I can think of. I think this is the last pick. Boris Miranoff. Rafi Torres! Oh, I'm between Miranoff and Torres right now. This is the last pick. I think I'm going to go Boris. Boris Miranoff. See Daniel Sedin anywhere? No. I think it's the last pick. It is. Oh shit. I didn't even go look for the character. Alright, well, we're starting a new series. Hopefully this is a little bit more competitive. We'll play one game for sure. Um Make sure no one's got any fucking dumb numbers. Okay, we got Foppa Forsberg, number 21, Blake for Paul 17, about no, retired. Can't call out. Sorry, pal. He was number 16, wasn't he? At least he was somewhere. Mark Messier, it is retired, but it's retired for Mark Messier, so that's illegal. Al Shemsky, Rick Nasty, Henrik Zetterberg, Igor Ulanov. Marty Havlat, Luke Robitaille, Don Sweeney, Alexi Jamna, Ma uh, Nick Dempsey, uh, Steve Young. I know, Scott Young, I think. It's not Steve Young. I think that's quarterback. Ryan Fitzpatrick, Adam Graves. Graves should be number nine. Who's number nine? Marty Havlat. Yeah, fuck him. Uh, Marty Erat. Can he be number 29? Think he was not Red Deer? No, he can't. It's Steve Austin. Okay. Dan Hynote, Steve Ott, Boris Miranoff. No, Boris Miranoff, number two. Manny Legacy, who may only fuck goaltending is going to be a challenge. Let's go see who San Jose's got. That's who our first game is against. San Jose is Scott Niedermeyer, Glenn Murray. Uh, you're not getting 30 fucking one idiot. That's stupid. Uh, Jason Strudwick. I actually changed struggles. I don't know why I'm, you know, changing other people's numbers. I just don't like that Glenn Murray is a goalie to him. That's fucked up. Anyway, so let's not worry about that. Andrew Castles, Mike Ricci, uh, Ruchetic, Freddie Modine, Marty Reisner, Philip Kuba. Uh, I still don't like that. Fuck that. I hate when players wear goalie numbers. I just don't like it visually. So this is who we're playing. This is the squad. Dom Hashik and Dan Cliche are the Greens. All right, game one. Game one, we got the Sharks. I don't know why my stream kind of fucked up. Okay. All right, let's turn that off now. Because we're going to have actual game noise. All right. So Edmonton and San Jose. You know what we're going to do? We're going to whites at home. Because that's what I think it should be. Forsberg, Blake, and Hull. Those are the boys against Niedermeyer, Murray, and Safrana. Uh, that's not what I want. Okay, uh, was, there was noise. All right, let's do it. Games are quick, so don't uh, don't feel too uh, bad about staying the whole time. time. Only three minute periods. No video goal judge, no helmets, no teeth. No problem. I love that. Old time hockey, no video goal judge, no helmets, no teeth, and borderline no fucking rules. And there are no rules in this. I turned penalties off. Because, you know what? You, the, it's called NHL hit, so the whole goal is to try to kill guys. And uh, sometimes we randomly call a fucking penalty for something it wasn't calling the entire time. So here we go. 
Game one, home opener, Sharks and Oilers. Dominic Hasek leading the Sharks out. No fans because of COVID. Manny Legacy is a bit concerning uh, to be our goalie, but we'll see how it works. All right, let's see what's going on. There's Igor ruling off. By the boys. I think we're going to be a need, a team, need to be a team that outscores our problems. I have to be honest with you. I think that's just how it's going to be. But you know what? Foppa Forsberg, borderline the best player in the game. Lost to draw, so not a good start. Oh, big hit. Let's go, Robbie Blake. Early one. Early one, Blake. Fucking right. What a start to the franchise, to the season. That's a bad rebound to get up if you're the dominator. I like this team better than our old one already. Here we go, Mark Messier back in the back in an Oiler uniform. Oh shit! I was paying attention to the replay. Of this one. Shit! Ooh, hit the post. Fuck! Fuck! Ooh, Manny, couple of big saves. Who's hammer? Hammer! Oh! Back in his old building. Oh shit, Mike Ricci. Good pass. Good. Oh no. Oh, Ricci. Oh shit. Oh, big save by Legacy. Here we go. Here we go. Mess. Mess again. Mess again. Oh, baby. Follow up your own rebound. Mark Messier, Edmonton legend, hometown boy. Couple of bad rebounds if you're the dominator. Might have to bump goalie still back up by one. But that was also impossible last time we tried it. So uh, let's do that. So so we don't get any. Uh, feels a bit easy right now. Goalie still one notch up. All right. In we go. Up to rip on San Jose. Fuck. Castles. Modine. All right. Here's Brett Hall. The Golden Brett. This was like a tail end of his career. But I still feel like, you know, like. Man, Brett Hall. Oh! Brett Hall in this time, I still feel like was putting up, like. How many did he score with Detroit that year when they were fucking stacked? Is that 0-2? Well, I want to say he scored 60 goals. So he's not too far removed from that. So I felt like Brett Hall was an obvious choice. Although he's not even playing with Forsberg. Oh, yeah, he is. Uh, all right. Oh, shit, shit. Fucking Strutty. Strutty again. Oh, no. Reasoner. Oh, okay. Oh, don't do this stream. Is this still working? Yeah. It is. Oh, shit. Uh, I noticed a stream, a streaming issue on our laptop, so hopefully we're still good. Oh, fuck, I don't know to do. Fuck. Shit. Oh, hit the post. Strutty. Oh, here we go. Sweeney. In. Yeah, Sweeney. Oh, fuck, Marty. That was a good play. What? One time around. No. Oh, what a stop by the dot by Manny Legacy. Dominator was my goalie in the last version of this team. Sweeney. You got to be a future GM, pal. You can't be getting knocked around like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man, Marty Reasoner. Clang. We got, uh, what is it? 2 nothing. The oh, fuck, Marty. Oh, fuck, 
Right. I'll tell you that, right? Just trying to keep that alive. Old Rexall place. Styreed Center, Northlands Coliseum. This is a goal. I mean, come on. This is, this is robbery. Just plain robbery. All right. Here we go, Ness. Take a seat, Chuck. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Chaos is Freddie Moudin. Shit! Glad Murray. Okay, so it's a team again, and we're going down for the second period. Oh, fucking no way! Oh, big save. We're, we got our depth forwards out there, otherwise known as hot garbage. Second period, 2-1 for the Oil. Shots are 14-9. See, this game plays way better, dude. Oh, yeah, Havlak. Fuck yes. Bad rebound for Hashik again. But Hashik was kind of that way. Right? He gave up a lot of bad rebounds. He was just kind of fish out of fucking water. And he just kind of flopped around open. He just made a lot of big saves. Dominic, I gotta say, my like when you close your eyes and think of Dominic Hashik, what do you what do you see him as? For me, he's he's a you know what? Now that I think I was about to say he's a Buffalo Sabre, but he got him again. Suck it up. Suck my ass down. Rebounds in this game are so huge, which is why I'm trying to get rebound rules. They were decent. Dominic Hashik is not decent for the It's a big goal, 4 1 for the Royal. Well, uh, when I think of Hashik, I was about to say I see him as like a Buffalo Sabre. But he might be. I kind of fondly remember him as an Ottawa Senator, too. Although he wasn't a Senator for very long. Uh, I do not see him as a winner. Fuck you. But uh, Dom, no matter what, he was, uh, he was a beauty. Here we go. All right. Oh, fucking yeah. Oh! Here's a young Hank Zetterberg. But Messier, you're in it! Oh, good save, Hashik. Hashik, you gotta beat him on the second one. And his rebounds are not good tonight. So you just gotta crash the fucking net. Uh-oh. Here we go. Igor Ulanov. Oh. Fuck yeah. Let's go, Igor. Oh no. Who's got the last one? Great tilt, though. Good tilt. Fuck, I... These San Jose jerseys were the shit. I miss them. I will, I will hear no arguments to the contrary. Oh, fuck, it's right! No rebound, dude. No guys getting the fucking rebound, man. We don't ball for sure. Sweetie! Oh, good block by Ruchanik. I saved a goal. Fought the forest break. He was Dempsey! See, he'll always make the first save. Ooh. Watch this, Bobby. Brett Hull. One timer. Only 64 mile an hour. One timer again. Good save. Fuck strike. Oh shit! Oh, great play, nasty. Rip, nasty, just buried him. Oh, here's Top of Forsberg and Breakaway. Oh. Oh no, Glenn Murray. He's got the San Jose goal. 
Fuck you, buddy. Oh, I almost get it. Oh, no. Oh, big save, man. Oh, another big save by Manny Legacy. Dempsey. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. What a save by the Dominator. I see. I turned off sides off because those happen way too fucking frequently. Right, here we go. Got a big lead, got a big lead here. Got a nurse at home. Igor. Oh, suck my ass. Good hit. Hemsky. Fuck that pick is not proving worth it. Joins and Ryland. Oh no, shit. That was a fucking soft shot. Here's Hammer. Hammer. Hammer by himself. Hammer. Oh, Hammer. Oh, oh shit. I just hit the fucking crossbar with a 200 foot slapper. Oh, it doesn't work, so it doesn't really matter, but. Nonetheless, all right, final frame. The Sharks have only one period left to pull this game out of the fire, down by three. Let's go. Ness on the draw, the fucking lost. Shit. Oh, Mark. Mass hits the fucking crossbar. All right, brand new season, new year, new sliders. It's pretty competitive. I like this. Uh, I like this gameplay so far, at least. Uh oh, so far with this gameplay, we're one and one, uh, including last season. Oh no! Shit! Turnover. Good job, man. Here we go, Fafa. Oh, Fafa got fucking crushed. Shit. Oh, my goodness, Glenn Murray. He just fucking paralyzed Rob Blake. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Sephirana, one-timer. Ooh, big save, Manny. Fuck Rob Blake's having a tough game. Sit down, son. Oh, fuck a floor is bad. The puck's stolen by Niedemeyer. He plays it over. Did anyone catch the number of that train? Here we go. Here's Rob. Rob Blake right in. Oh, boom, crushing hit that one. Oh, gosh, it's going to cover it. And the goalie elects to hang on for the whistle. In NHL hits. Yeah, he beat the fucking wheels off it. Oh, Scotty. Oh, no. Oh, fucking pick up the puck. Big save. Shit. Uh, Forsberg. Hammer. Oh, we're looking okay here. Here's Mass. Mass right in. Oh no, oh no! Okay, big save. Here's Satter. Come on, Zetterberg. Yeah, baby. Thanks, Zetterberg. Let's go. Here's Hank Zetterberg again. Oh, what a move. Oh, he's right in. Oh, there's a one timer and a fucking dagger from Nathan Dempsey. Who? Doesn't matter. Alright. 
Looks like it's a 5-1 victory to start the new fucking mode. New season mode. There's a little salt in the word. Gotta get one for the Golden Brett. A oh, great play to break that up. A one-timer from Rick Brigham. Shot from Rick Nasty. And, uh, and you know what? Dominic's rebound control absolutely got him. Bit him in the ass tonight. His rebound control is non-existent. So we got, we're going to go get one with Manny. Nice oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fuck. Okay. Okay. That's the other cool thing about this game. You can shoot from anywhere. And uh, it would just go on that thing. I really would. Really, it's just good. Anyway. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, off. All right. Well, we've got our first game under our belt. We'll take a look at the stats uh, in three seconds here. There it is, W. 1-0. Oh. All right, who's the player of the game? I think it's going to be... Really? Mighty Legacy. So he must have made enough saves to get player of the fucking game. Yeah. Trayton Roy. Hey, Simmer. Hello, Trayton. How you doing, buddy? Big goal for his team tonight. Jim Cantrell for Harry Tynowitz and the Midway Crew signing off. Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you again real soon. Well, that's the end of the second half. All right. So, 41-38 the shot. So, I mean, that's uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty competitive, I would say. I would say Dominic Hasek's rebound control is not ideal if you're a Sharks guy. But, hey, that's uh, it's all good. All right. So, we're going to just make sure we save these settings because I, I quite like them. So... I think that's good. So tomorrow we'll do this again. Uh, maybe a couple games tomorrow evening. Uh, we'll uh, get that live. Tune back in. Let's see. We got the Canucks on tap tomorrow. Canucks, Flames, for sure. And maybe Buffalo, too. I think that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in to the, to the uh, stream tonight. Um, it was frustrating for a while there to get um, to get the gameplay right. But we got it figured out. Pretty competitive. So we'll do it again tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you all then.